Hello guys. All right. So we are looking at something very interesting. Before we start, welcome to Photographics Academy. All right. So we are looking at how to add realistic skin textures to your images, both from your, this technique works on portrait, beauty portrait, close-ups, professional portraits, your, your full body, whatever type of image you do, provided it involves skin texture, this technique works on it perfectly. I know there are many ways you can do this in Photoshop, but this is the technique that I normally use. So I said, let me share it with you. So what I do is that I create a, an empty layer and I fill it up with 50% grey by pressing control, uh, shift backspace. This comes up. Then I'll go to 50% grey and press OK. Then I convert it to a smart object or you just change your blend mode to overlay before you convert. So just change to overlay, then convert it to a smart object. It's basically the same thing. Then go to your filter, go to your camera raw filter, then go straight to the effects, go straight to the effects and increase your grain, increase your grain till it suits the kind of skin texture you want to achieve in your own image. So I think this is perfect for what I want to do. Is it? Yeah, this is okay. Press okay. So the next thing we're going to do is to convert this into a three dimensional looking texture. So that it doesn't look flat like this. So to do that, we'll go to filter, go to stylize and go to emboss, go to emboss. Now for the angle, you are going to mimic the direction of your lighting. If your light is coming from this direction, you have to tilt your angle towards this direction. So for this image, the light is coming from top to bottom, top to bottom. So that's why my angle is straight up. My angle is straight up. If it's coming from down to up, I'm going to keep it like this. I'm going to keep it like this, but because of where it's coming from, I'm going to keep it like this. So the angle you choose determines the look of the texture in your skin, determines the look of the texture in your skin. So it's always better to choose the direction of the light so that it looks very, very realistic. Then change your height and your amount. You can take up the amount, then start increasing the height from zero. till so you get something that looks suitable for you. So I think I like it at a level. Let me drop down the amount a little, increase the height a little more, press OK. Now to make it even more realistic, we're going to apply a cushion blur, just a very low blur, maybe somewhere around 1.0, 1.0, doesn't need to be very obvious and press OK. And now look at the effect. This is before, this is after. Let me zoom it in so you can see it clearly. This is before, this is after. Look at this areas that looks blurred, that looks out of focus. This is before, this is after. See the way you are gaining back textures in those areas. Look at the forehead. This is after, this is before, this is after. Remember, you mimic your lightning. And this is how you can achieve realistic skin textures. So one more thing you could do is just create a mask for it and take it out of your lips, your eyes, if you do not want textures there. So I think for the lips and eyes, I already have enough textures already. So I'll just take this away, maybe from the edge of the nose and any other parts, you do not want this skin texture and we are good to go. You might probably want to take down the opacity, but I'm going to leave it quite high for the purposes of the video. But in the real sense of application, I'm not going to use 100 cause it's going to look way out of place. So this is before, this is after, this is before, this is after. Look at those areas that we are looking out of focus before and after, before and after. Now let's do a quick recap. So the first thing we are going to, the first thing we did was to create an empty layer, fill it up with a 50% gray, then convert it to a smart object, went to our camera roll, added a green filter, came out, go to stylize, added an emboss to it. Remember your angle, very important, then come out and add a little Gaussian blur to it and finally add your layer mask but before you do all of this make sure you convert your blend mode to overlay you can even try any other blend mode to see if you have something that works better from here you can try soft light look at what soft light is giving us before after it's looking quite realistic but it's not strong the effect is not strong but it's not bad so can you probably try all these uh blend modes over here and see if there is anyone that gives you a better result but i'm very sure that none of them will beat overlay because overlay is a blend mode that shows up everything that is brighter than 50 that is not gray but hides everything that is 50 percent gray that's why we used overlay thank you very much for watching this amazing video 
do not forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and ring the bell to get notified every single time we drop a new video until then keep creating see you on our next video